we have Mia. This is an inexperienced person's version of just a simple sushi hand roll. I do not want to be the one to go home. I might not ever have another opportunity to do this. It's like you first. <laughs> Today's challenge is about sushi. Preparing sushi is really difficult. I'm not a sushi guru by any means, and so I was feeling a little bit nervous. I've never made sushi. I was really scared. I was like, how am I going to stay in the middle on this one? For this challenge, you will each get $100 to shop for fresh fish in this market. Then you'll return to the Kenmore kitchen where you'll have 30 minutes to create a sushi plate. You have full access to all the Cafalon cookware and the supplies in the Top Chef pantry. Good luck. The minute that Padma said that the challenge was going to be sushi, I said H-E double hockey sticks. That's it. I didn't feel well, but I'm not going home. If I'm sick, I get to be sick at work. I'm pretty excited about this quick fire challenge. I mean, this is my thing. Oh, we have black mussels and fresh green mussels. I know my flavors when it comes to sushi. I love cooking with fish. I love butchering fish. I love swimming with fish. I love eating them. I love fish. And I only got one fish. I'm not big on sushi, but hopefully I don't f it up when I butcher it. At this point, I don't really care. I just want to get through the day. I'd like to introduce you to our guest judge for this quick fire challenge, corporate executive chef of Kitano and Sushiroku restaurants, Chef Hiroshi Shima, and his partner and interpreter, Tom Cardenas. I was totally stoked to be able to cook for a badass Japanese sushi chef. You will have 30 minutes to prepare your sushi plates using the fish you found at the market, all the ingredients on that back table, as well as anything you can find in the Top Chef pantry. The winner of this quick fire cannot be eliminated in the next challenge. Your time starts now. For any contestant, immunity is a wonderful thing. It's a, it's a hall pass, a free ride, and I definitely want to win this one. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. This is Hamachi. I know I gotta go all out. I was on a chopping block once. I ain't getting there again. I gotta get immunity. Ten minutes and a half! Next thing you know, you, you turn around and there's like two minutes left on the clock and you're like, my God, what am I gonna do? Come on, Gaines. Get it together, girl. You have less than 10 seconds. Four, three, two. Knives down, please. Hello. Shima-san. Konnichiwa. Frank? I tried to do a replica of a very traditional uh, Japanese dish. Good, good, good. Very good. Arigato. This is Michael. Never made sushi before, you know, just once in school, but uh, it's like some uh, sushi rice with sesame oil. Well, uh, sashimi tuna. I did a little uh, corn starch slurry with soy sauce, sticking it up, wrapped up in a uh, cucumber. Thank you. Thank you. I was just like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm like so out of my league. But it looks decent, you know? Hello, Cliff. Uh, here we have uh, hamahama oysters, marinated little uh, ginger, rice wine, soy, the uh, mango. And instead of uh, wasabi, I used jalapeno. When Chef Shima came around, definitely nerves on end just because he's Chef Shima. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm telling the sushi master about sushi. And right here, I have a split spot prawn, hamachi, shiso leaf, and a sweet daikon. Mm. Let's see. Let's see. 
Here we have Mia. This is an inexperienced person's version of just a simple sushi hand roll. I do not want to be the one to go home. I might not ever have another opportunity to do this. It's like you first. <laughs> It wasn't really appealing. We have some cured mackerel, pickle, a spicy tuna roll with avocado inside out roll, a crab and sky and roll, scallops just uh, simply cut and uh, tossed with some sesame seeds. He's very impressed with the way you rolled it. Thank you. Hey, I'm just a round eye from Cleveland, Ohio, with no, no formal culinary training whatsoever, especially in the fine art of sushi. But to hear those compliments from that man meant a great deal for me. Okay, uh, I did traditional sushi. I just changed a little bit the taste in here. I put some olives with mackerel. What do you want to call it? Covering a ball looks there. This is truly his first time enjoying a flavor like this. The olives really come forefront in this sushi. This is Ilan. This is um, abalone sashimi, uni, just on rice as it is, scallop in the shell. Mmm. He feels that it's very fresh and very live here. Chef Shima, who do you think were the strongest contenders? If he has to pick one. Cliff, 